as a tech YouTuber, you know, somebody who reviews or talks about products for a living, paying attention to what you guys want to see from me is super important. That's why I buy what I buy and, you know, post what I post. And a recurring comment that I've been getting is check out the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. And that's exactly what we're doing today. I managed to get my hands on one. These are like really hot right now. And the only Best Buy that had this in stock was like 20, 30 miles away. So I, you know, took the afternoon and drove out there and drove back. So like I said in my community post, this better be worth it. And I'm excited because it seems like a lot of people are impressed with this device. But before we jump into this unboxing, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm likes that, and we'll help push my content to more people. And if you are a recurring viewer, go ahead and click the bell icon and enable all notifications as it does help the channel out a lot. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Lenovo IdeaPad uh, Duet Chromebook, whatever the full name is. I have actually not watched a lot of content on this device on purpose. People are like, oh, you should educate yourself about a product before you unbox it. But in my case, I want to experience the unboxing with you. I want to just sort of get a very surface level understanding of what it is and then actually use it. So. We got um, a MediaTek OctaCore in here, so that's two gigahertz, gigahertz. <laughs> uh, it has a 10.1 inch display, 1920 by 1200 IPS, that's interesting. Really good for the price, I have to say. A 7180 milliamp hour battery in here. We got it in the ice blue, iron gray color, 128 gigs of storage. I'm excited to crack this open here, so let me use this little tool to get the plastic off. And of course it runs Chrome OS, which has gotten better over the years. From my understanding, you can run Android apps on this device, which makes it very enticing. And also you get a keyboard in here as well. There's another sticker I have to break maybe. Yep, here we go. So let's pull the lid off here. And here we have this device. We'll lift it up, put it off to the side. Let's see what else is in the box as well. So we got a little Chromebook duet, uh, literature, whatever you want to call this. We probably have a cable right here from what I'm guessing. Let me open this up. Yep, we got a USB Type-C cable in here. What else we got? We got a oh headphone jack to USB Type-C. That's a nice little touch. Yep, we got the power brick in here. Cool. I'm gonna put this over here. Then we probably have the keyboard in here. Okay, here we go. <sighs> I'm so impatient, I swear to God. That's <laughs> what happens when you drive as long as I did and sat there in traffic. Like, it's better be worth it. Uh, then we got this part as well. Oh, because this is like a little soft touch, like fabric. No, fabric woven back cover. Ooh, okay. I'll actually remove the plastic off the tablet. That was not satisfying at all. And here this is an okay. All right, this looks nice. I can see why this is so popular. Like, I mean, this this feels really premium. I'm getting like Nexus vibes, you know that? Like, I'm like remembering going to the store and looking at the Nexus 10 and the Nexus 7. We have a nice little ridged power button. This is like soft touch plastic, I think. Good for, you know, Wi-Fi signal or antenna or whatever. Okay, so we're booting. Here we go. Okay, so we got this set up here and I'm actually gonna take this off the keyboard so we can see what we're doing here. All right, so let me set this tablet up here. Hopefully it doesn't take five years. Don't install updates, please don't. No f***ing way. No, mm -mm. nope. I'm not waiting a f***ing hour to use this. Why do devices have to force an update? No! Six and a half hours later. So after oh so patiently waiting for this thing to update, I'm finally greeted with this screen after I signed into my Google account. It says, install apps from your other devices. So people, you know, they say like, oh, Chromebooks are useless because you can only run like Chrome oriented tasks or apps. Not the case. These are actual Android apps you can install. So I'm going to install Squid. I'm going to install Fruit Ninja. Why not? Discord. I'll install Minecraft. Um, possibly Evernote. Probably not. I don't really use that, but yeah. TikTok maybe, install and continue. So it's now coaching me on how to navigate with gestures, that's cool. Um, so I'll get started. So here we are here, uh, Google Chrome. I can swipe to go home, here are my apps. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've never owned a Chrome OS device, but this does not look half bad, especially with the keyboard, which I'll attach honestly right now. I just will not have it in view because I wanna keep the screen in view, you know what I mean? So you can see what I'm doing, I can Press this and scroll up and down. Can open up Google Docs. I can scroll down to a recent document maybe. Um, 
hello, can I? Oh, here we go. So I can do my Tab S6 versus iPad 10.2 inch comparison. I'm scrolling through that. You know what? I'm just going to attach the keyboard in a hot minute here. I'll talk about what that feels like. But um, in here, of course, is the OS. I can use Google Assistant. What's the weather like right now? Currently in Livonia, it's 90 degrees. And that was quick. I'll open up YouTube. Let's do a uh, sound test. I'll do <laughs> none. Copyright sounds. Yeah, they're all right. Not the best I've ever heard, but they'll do the job. And I don't believe there's a headphone jack on this device. Um, however, once again, you do get a headphone jack adapter, which is a nice touch here. And I'll also mention that the USB Type-C port is down here, interestingly enough. I mean, I like the placement. I'm not complaining, but... Oh, here, here's like a little dock that you can swipe up on. Uh, maybe I'll go to the Play Store. And once again, that's a big plus side of having a Chromebook. Now you can actually run, you know, Android apps which makes it, you know, more of a usable device here. I can play cut the rope. Somehow that's a thing. Oh my gosh. I like how this is just chilling in Chrome. This is a Chrome game. I remember playing this when I was like 10 years old. And I somehow managed to screw that up and not get a star. Wow. So there's uh, some Chrome gaming here for you. Here's an app I'm interested in, the Files app, and this appears to be just like the one you'd find on any other, you know, Android device. I'm um, pretty simplistic. You got recent audio, images, video, downloads. As you can see in my recents, I have like Google Docs, and their sizes aren't previewed because I believe it's referring to cloud storage or cloud files. Um, let's actually talk about the keyboard now, and I'll, you know, zoom out so we can get this all into the frame. So this attaches magnetically, once again, like a Surface keyboard or like the Logitech combo touch with the iPad. And also we get this fabric cover for the back of the tablet itself, which also has a built-in kickstand, which I now know how to toggle. But let me open this up here and share my experience that I've had so far. So um, I like the keys. They feel nice. The plastic doesn't feel that cheap. The trackpad feels a little bit cheap. You know, obviously not as nice as like a glass one found on the Surface keyboard or, you know, on the Logitech combo touch your magic keyboard but you have to keep in mind this comes in the box you know this whole package is $2.99 and if this is what's coming in there I can totally forgive that I mean like the fact that I have cursor support is just really great the ability to scroll and highlight text like I would with a laptop that's everything and once again the fact that this comes in the box is just super impressive and I'll type some things out here real quick I'll open up a new tab I'll go to like a typing test website we'll see how well I do Up. Okay, so 77 words per minute, 85% accuracy. That's just me, but for a small keyboard, I'm pretty impressed with that. I mean, I'm used to a full size keyboard on my laptop or on my iMac or whatever, but this is a good keyboard i like the spacing i like the font style here we got nicely sized control alt space keys we got arrow keys as well and once again the trackpad is nice for highlighting and selecting text without using your finger and that's about all i want to say about this device right now the display seems decently sharp and bright we got okay speakers a great you know keyboard and trackpad accessory that comes in the box um a decent ui as well that runs android apps so i can't wait to you know share my my full review with you and of course compare this to like ipad air maybe ipad 10.2 inch more so maybe even the surface go 2 and for a long time i'm not gonna lie i've prejudged chromebooks i've been like ah like they're useless you can't do anything with them except run chrome apps but you know like i said you got android app support and all this hardware here and it seems really promising and i can see why these are selling like hotcakes and that about wraps things up here. I hope this unboxing was helpful. I'd appreciate it once again if you leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all 
in the next one.